Well, June is National Dairy Month, a great time to try new refreshing recipes for the summer. And I'm joined by Mighty Huen from the food blog, Mighty in the Mitten, who is here to share some of her favorite recipes with all of us. Thank you. Hi. We both said we both love food, so this yes, is awesome. we do. All right, so what are we making today? Okay, so this is my famous Japanese milk bread, and basically what I'm gonna show you is the milk bread that I make, um, very traditional way of eating it in Vietnam is just put some butter on it, and it's already been lightly toasted. So we're gonna put some butter on it, and then sometimes my grandma used to sprinkle some cinnamon sugar on it, or she would do condensed milk. Ooh, I love so it. So you usually have this with um, Vietnamese coffee, which is also very strong. It's like espresso. And very delicious. And very delicious. So what is milk bread, though? For okay. those who don't know, may I try so, some? Um, of course, okay. please do. So think of challah bread meets Hawaiian bread meets oh. brioche bread without all the butter and fat, but still very soft and doughy. This is delicious. Yeah. I know, it's just so versatile. And that's what I love about this mm. um, recipe because it's kneaded to death, which is like 20 minutes, 30 minutes actually. Mm -hmm. And then I love the versatility of it, which I've made babka bread with it, French toast, grilled cheese sandwiches, it's endless. I mean, no, this is delicious. You could make anything with this. Yes, absolutely. Sweet, savory, whatever. Yes, so yes, why do totally. you enjoy cooking and baking with dairy products? Well, for the bread, I, well, first of all, I love ice cream. Mm -hmm. So I've got some Vietnamese uh, ice cream here, Vietnamese coffee ice cream. Oh, are you serious? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's my day. It's basically Vietnamese coffee and and it's got some cream and condensed milk, is, which is what makes Vietnamese coffee Vietnamese coffee. And we're just making ice cream sandwiches with it. I and this love is it. like the OG way of making ice cream sandwiches. Absolutely. <laughs> with Vietnamese ice cream? Yes. Yes. Vietnamese. And then I have some caramel there. If you want to drizzle caramel, you can do it with condensed milk. So I love baking with milk, I mean specifically for this bread because it just makes it super like milky and the proteins in it um, from the fat from the milk, it just keeps the structure and really light and doughy. Mm -hmm. Unlike, you know, crusty American, European artisan bread. Right, and the, so what are some of the other benefits of cooking with dairy? You also mentioned, mentioned the protein and the fat health. Oh yeah, for sure. So I mean, vitamins obviously. Um, structural wise, it's really important in bread. Um, I do a lot of noodles with like Asian food. Mm -hmm. I've actually even experimented putting some dairy into it and making it creamy and mm. that's totally fine. So yeah. You're just being creative with it. So maybe oh, not course. coconut milk, a little dairy instead. Uh, absolutely. All right, so what are some of your other favorite recipes? Uh, so this is baked bread. I like making steam bread as well. It's uh, Asian, like Chinese steam buns. Um, I like to steam it. It's made a little bit differently. It does also use milk in it. Okay. Some of the recipes use milk, some just use water. So I, I love baking, but I also do love cooking savory foods too. Okay, well this is awesome, Mighty. This is amazing. <laughs> I will be taking more bites during the commercial. There you go, make affogados. Yes, we will post these recipes on our webpage at forliveinthed.com and to get more recipe ideas visit the website milkmeansmore.com we will be right back that's a perfect idea yeah. .org i'm sorry milkmeansmore.org <laughs> milkmeansmore.org thank you